Hello everybody, I'm back with uh, another review, and this is the other starter set that I got, the uh, German uh, Kampf Group Kristoff. Uh, so, <clears throat> I'm going to sort of kind of compare side by side um, the two different, uh, two different starter sets that I got. Um, first off, let's look at the... Uh, the infantry here that you get. Uh, they they have um, let's see how many Panzerfausts they have. I, guess, I think this is just the uh, no they have two Panzerfausts apparently. Uh, yeah, here's the other one right here. Oh, this guy's back and right here. So they get two Panzerfausts. Um, Three MP forty sixes, uh, which are these three guys, and then this is a flamethrower, and then this is a machine pistol thing. Um, sort of looks like a uh, sort of looks like a uh, an Uzi right there, and then this guy's a flamethrower. He's pretty cool. Um, and the uh, the hero that they uh, that they come with is his name is Kristoff right here, and he also gets a flamethrower. Um, weirdly enough, is there these are technically the same flamethrower, um, but they look completely different. It's really weird, um, but they are indeed the same flamethrower. And Kristoff also gets. Uh, he gets a Panzerfaust 100, and he does not have uh, limited ammo like the other ones. Um, so he can use those as many as, mi as many times as he wants. Um, see that there? There's no uh, there's no tick mark here. Um, <clears throat> so he can use his Panzerfaust as many times as he wants, and it does pretty decent damage uh, all across the board. Can't he can't damage aircraft because he has a flamethrower. Panzerfaust. Uh, he also has the ability Scout, so he gets to move in extra space uh, whenever he first uh, comes into play. Um, he has an Expert Flamethrower and an Expert Panzerfaust 100. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, oh, it says on the back right here, it says, uh, hit on rolls of the, uh, the, the cross as well as the uh, hit marker does not apply to units joined. Okay, so if he joined a unit, they wouldn't get that same bonus, but he still would. So that's pretty cool. Um, Trailblazer. That's that's a pretty uh, pretty nice uh, thing right there. It says uh, can move through enemy units. Uh, applies to units as uh, joined as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I do have to mention that these guys are also pretty quick, just like the uh, Chinese. Let's see here. The, these, the Chinese, they are, uh, their normal move is one less than the Chinese, but they can march or double move, uh, you know, just as just as far. Um, but if you're only going up and then one and then firing, you know, they can go up to three and still fire. So the Chinese are a little bit better than that. They are infantry one as well, and they do have a wider range of weapons. Um, and I think they're able to actually maybe shoot shoot more than the uh, Chinese. Um, they have a flamethrower, so they, they could potentially wipe the other one out fairly quickly um, as well as do uh, other other damage. Now oddly enough both of these don't have knife and grenade Bo bo both uh, both of the standard units that come in this which is very odd to me I don't know if that's a new rule or just the fact that they can't they don't have the ability to go up and stab people um, so that's interesting for me um, 
Kristoff is a hero. Um, I'm guessing he's a hero because he has this uh, this right here. Now, oddly enough, the heroes that come in the uh, the Chinese starter set they don't have that there. But Poon, let's see if I have his card right here. Yep, Poon, Poon has it. So I'm very confused on how this, on how how this is sort of going because uh, I don't know if it's a misprint or what. Uh, another complaint I have, or a complaint I have about these cards is uh, right here. That's really really hard to read um, with the uh, the black black cross in the back. Um, um, so that's a little bit of a disappointment that you kind of really have to look and see what that says, and that's where the flamethrower is. Um, so that's disappointing. Um, another quick look at all the models here for a second for y'all. <clears throat> These are really, really nicely done. Um, they don't have any, uh, any chest armor or anything like that. So, because they are, again, infantry one. Uh, which is pretty interesting, because I didn't know that the Germans had any infantry one until now. Um, I guess in the desert, they, uh, they aren't using as much, uh, armor because they, uh, don't want to keel over and die from the heat. <laughs> uh, the starter set also comes with this cool-looking ammo crate. Um, different than the other one. Comes with 12 of these dice, uh, as well as, um... these uh, walls and trees, just like the other starter set. The building, what comes in it, the uh, sort of, uh, oh, what's it called, uh, advertisement, and then the rule book with the quick reference guides on the back, which is pretty cool, and I really like that. Uh, and it also comes with a very nice play mat. Um, and a tank trap. Just sort of a standard uh, starter kit. I believe they all come with this stuff, so it's fairly uh, fairly standard for all of them. Next, we're going to move on to this awesome looking thing. It is called Herman, and it and it is a armor two. And does pretty decent damage against light, lighter tanks. Uh, does 12 1, 11 1, 10 1. So it gets to roll quite a lot of dice for uh, against armor. And then all the hits, of course, since it is laser, um, you get to roll those hits again uh, to see if you can get even more hits. Uh, now, this thing is also pretty quick, but I think it is also, again, slower than the Chinese. Hang on a second. No. No, actually, it's not. Uh, actually, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, it is slower. Uh, by one again. Um, then again, I feel like... Well, no, because this thing has RPGs, it can take this one out. But this one can do quite a lot of damage, if not take it out. It is also a... <clears throat> The German is a lower uh, armor rating than the uh, the Chinese one. Um, I'm guessing they make up with that ability with the scout. And wait a second, laser reload. Interesting. I didn't know lasers needed to be reloaded. Uh, that's the first time I've ever seen reload on a laser weapon. Well, that's, uh, that's, that's interesting. So yeah, apparently every time you fire this, you, uh, you gotta reload afterwards. Um, even though you can roll a crap ton of dice, um, you still gotta reload. So that's slightly disappointing. Um, I guess that's how they keep the, uh, the, <laughs> the constant rolling of dice for this thing, uh, down. Because that's, uh... That's quite a bit. Um, again, it can't attack aircraft. In fact, I don't think any of these guys... Nope. 
none of them this can attack aircraft. Um, and there's not much else to say about this little walker, but uh, other than the fact that it looks pretty awesome. In fact, I think I like this design for the Herman better than the old one. Um, especially since the old one only has one laser. Um, but again, I don't think that Herman has reload, so maybe it's because this has uh, two lasers that it has, you know, the reload ability. I have no idea. But uh, I really like that it's in a walking pose. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, man, it's actually kind of dusty, and that's not for me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I really like this, uh, this shirt's in on it. Uh, I, I love, I'm a fan of shirts and shirts and on the gun, shirts and shirts and on the, uh, side of the, the hull there. So, <clears throat> all in all, that's a, you know, your standard, your standard dust model. It moves at the joints up and down and then left to right and then the guns can move side to side like that so you can sort of aim it however far you want the target to be. So that's pretty cool. Um, in fact, uh, I prefer the way this walker looks versus the uh, the Chinese walker and the starter set. Um, it also has a machine gun that I have yet to put on it yet. It comes in this little baggie. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a chin mounted uh, gun so that's why it can't shoot up into the into the air and attack aircraft. So that's a disappointment because uh, this starter set um, Never mind, the other starter set can't shoot up in the air. Oh, yes it can. Here you go. This walker right here can shoot up in the air, whereas the uh, Herman here cannot. In fact, nothing in this starter set can, uh, can attack air units. So, if uh, you're just starting out, that's not going to matter because none of them have uh, um, air units in them. But if uh, you're adding it to an army, you might want to look at that um, and say, you know, these don't even have the, the slightest possibility of uh, attacking air. Um, so, I mean, a lot of people aren't playing with air, at least not that I've seen. So, uh, you know, it's not too, too big of a deal, but uh, just something to mention that there is there is no, um, there is no chance that you're going to shoot anything down um, aerial-wise. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. Bye.